Welcome to another video. This is Professor Capco, and today we're going to be talking about percentage occupancy in a healthcare environment, uh, such as at a healthcare facility. This is more part of the healthcare statistics class. All right, so we're going to talk about percentage occupancy. Here is the data that we're going to be using today to make those calculations. So this is community hospital annual statistics uh, for a, a fictional year that is non-leap year. That is not a leap year. A leap year, of course, would have 366 days. A regular year would have 365 days. So we're going to make our calculations based upon a 365-day year. So you've got a couple periods here, um, and then you've got December 31st. Here's the bed counts. And then down at the bottom, we're going to have a separate count for newborns for the entire year. So we're going to use those numbers to make a calculation. Here is the formula that we're going to utilize. It is going to be percentage occupancy is the total service days for a period times 100. All that divided by the total bed count days in the period. So I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment. All right. So let's do the first one. Inpatient occupancy rate for our year. And this is going to be without newborns. Okay, this is what we're going to exclude the newborns. Okay, so we're going to put down some of this data. And to take a look at our numbers again, we're looking at the first period. Uh, we have 35,872. So I'm going to write that down, 35,872. And since we're looking for the entire year, I'm going to take the second period as well, the, the 36,894, and I'm going to add that to it. So I'm going to add 36,894 to that. And if we add those two together, we get 72,000. 766. All right, so according to our formula, that's our total service days for a period. We need to multiply that by 100. So I'm going to take my 72,766, I'm going to multiply it by 100. And that, of course, moves the decimal place over 2. So we've got 7,276,600. and 600. So what we've done now is the top. That's the top portion. Now, for the bottom, we need to figure out our numbers. So this first period, the first numbers number is going to be uh, for 81 day, 181 days. So you may need to calculate how many days are in the period. Um, and once you do that, you've got the number of days, and you're going to multiply that by the bed count. And in this case, the first period's got 175. So 181 times 175. And if you multiply those out, that equals 31,675. The second period has got 184 days. And we're going to multiply it by our second period, which our bed, our bed count there is 200. So the 184 days, we're going to multiply by 200, because that's how many beds were occupied during that period, our average bed count. So I'm going to multiply those out, and that's 36,800. And since I'm trying to get everything for the whole year, I'm going to add those together. So um, that winds up being 68,475. That is the bottom. That's the total bed count in days in the period, in this case, the whole year. So, in that case, we're going to take our 7,276,600, and I'm going to divide that by this number here, 68,475. Divide that out, and I get a 106. 0.26. If I round that, since this is a greater than a 5, this becomes a 3. 
So it's 106.3, and this is a percentage, 106.3%. Now, if we're going to do the same thing with our newborn, newborn bassinet occupancy rate, I'm going to take the first number, this is 12,732. And I'm going to multiply it by 100, because that's what we do across the numerator at the top. And that is 1,273,200. Now, in other words, we just move the decimal place over two. And then the number of days in a year is 365 because it's not a leap year, so 365 days, times newborns, we have uh, 40 from our data. So I multiply that by the 40. That winds up being 14,600. So that's our denominator. So I take our 1,273,200, and I divide it by the 14,600, in the denominator, and that winds up being 87.21, so 87.2% is the occupancy for the newborns. So that would be the calculation there. And then if we're just calculating the occupancy for December 31st, it's the last day of the year. So if we're doing it just for the last day of the year, we know we have, from our data, Occupancy on December 31st is 200, is the bed count. So I have 200, and since that's a numerator, we multiply it by, uh, excuse me, hang on a second, uh, 201, I'm sorry, I knew I messed up my number here. So 201 is our inpatient days, so we do the inpatient days is 201 times 100, so that's going to equal you got to make sure you get the data from the right place, 20,100. And then now we have our bed count. Our bed count is one day times 200. That's our bed count equals 200. So if I take the 20,100 divided by 200, I get 100.5%. And that's how you calculate your bed occupancy rate. If you subscribe to this channel, you can find more videos that will help you with your math in this course. Thank you.